Hello everybody and welcome to Just for Women Africa. My name is Ola Leko Amosa, the founder of Just for Women Africa. And today we're with Sana Yeboah, who is a certified um, trainer and weight management, weight management, management specialist, specialist yeah. yes, here in Accra, Ghana. And she's going to be talking, taking us through, you know, what she does, how she got started. And um, she, of course, she's also the founder of the new... The new you. The new you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> CNU and yeah. um, really great um, workout um, team. Okay, guys, so let's get on with the interview. Yeah, welcome to the show, Sana. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. It's a long time having you on, um, coming on Just Home in Africa. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's guess. How did you get into the uh, TNU thing? <laughs> Training, okay. exercise, and stuff? So, um, it all started after the birth of my first child. Mm -hmm. I was still looking pregnant, even though the baby was out. And I wasn't happy with it because a lot of my clothes were just not fit. Okay. Whenever I had to step out of the house, I can be. So, I can spend like several hours trying to find an outfit that will fit. Okay. Whatever I wear, because the time is all over the place, it just won't look cute. Okay. And I got to a point where I realized that I see mothers mm -hmm. who don't look like mothers. Okay. You know, and then I see some women who actually look like mothers, but they are not mothers yet. Okay. And usually <laughs> it's, it's like, okay, so someone will say, there are people who say, oh, you know, people congratulate me. They see me and they congratulate me because they think I'm pregnant because of my tummy size. Okay. And I said, no, I don't want to be part of the women who look like they are still pregnant. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the tummy is still very big and that's like a sign that you're a mother. I didn't want okay. to look like that. I wanted to let the evidence of my childbirth be at home so that people would be surprised when I tell them I'm a mother. Okay. You know, so I, I knew I needed to do something because okay. I wasn't happy with the tummy size. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, at a point, I was actually becoming a bit depressed, you know, because there was a time where I went to um, one of the postnatal checkup with my husband and then he saw a very good friend of his who had just given birth mm -hmm. and her tummy was flat. He said to me, Senna, hey, have you seen my friend? She just had a child. See her tummy. Aww. And then I was like, oh my God. I mean, <laughs> is he trying to compare us? You know, of course, there are women who they don't have to do anything at all. Once okay. the baby is out, the tummy it just vanishes, just like that. Okay. Clearly, I wasn't one of those women. So I said, okay, so the other women who are in my shoes, who have to carry a watermelon-sized tummy everywhere they go, how do they get back in shape? Okay. So that began my journey to researching, you mm -hmm. know, how do I get back in shape? You okay. Because I, I then I gained over 23 kg during the pregnancy. So I started doing a lot of research. I started experimenting on lifestyle modifications, on exercising and everything. And I experimented with them. And just like magic, well, of course, it wasn't magic. It took a lot of hard work, <laughs> a lot of exercise and, 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 and sacrificing some meals that I would have loved. I transformed. Okay. I got rid of the excess weight. Mm -hmm. My tummy size went back to a um, waist of 26. And when I went back to work, and then I was working in the bank, everyone was shocked at my transformation. Did you just have a baby? That was like the reaction I get every time. Senna, didn't you just have a baby? What happened to the tummy? I said, ah, it's working. It's working. You know, it got me very excited. I think my confidence level moved from 50 to like, I'm not exaggerating, you know, and a lot of women said to me, Senna, please help us. We didn't know it was possible, mm -hmm. you know, please help us. So I began this journey to help them and it was okay. all a hobby, you know, okay. it was my colleague. Then I helped them. They're like, hey, Senna, my friends just saw me and they are amazed that I've transformed. They want to get help as well. I said, okay, why not? I'll help them. Then I realized the numbers were increasing. Okay. And I said, okay, hold on. That's, could that this word, be something? That, could that be word of mouth? Yes, yeah, word of mouth. You know, wow. Word of mouth. And I said, okay, hold on. And then I thought, okay, this is just a, a hobby. Let's let, let's play. Oh, I'll, I'll show you my tricks. This is what I did. The exercises I did. The meals I ate. And it was working. Just like magic. And, and the numbers were increasing. And I thought, okay, hold on. Could this be something, I mean, I could really do to help all these women who keep calling me? Because like, I get calls almost every day. That's when I just saw my friend who said, 
you helped her to transform can mm -hmm. you help me as well mm -hmm. so that was like daily calls wow. you know and and i mean the inspiration for the new you came okay the new you like i mean it, I, it just dropped in my spirit the new you and and i realized that i had become a new person okay you know i had become a happier mother mm -hmm. as a result of the transformation yeah. you know i wasn't as irritable as i was you mm -hmm. know because you see there's something about not being very comfortable under your skin mm -hmm. it just begins to affect your mood like everything pisses you off you yeah. know i realized i'd become a happier wife you know it's no longer the case where you want your husband to compliment you to tell you that oh you look good you feel good you don't I need know. anyone to I tell, tell you, you that yeah. you know and and it, it just has a way of just like the happiness, the confidence level, it just, it just, it's, it's transferable to so many other areas. And I became a happier, a more confident version of myself, a more productive version of myself. So this is how the journey began in 2015, yeah, seven years. Wow, seven years is a long time. And counting. It's yeah. a long time. Yes. Okay, we we'll to the next question. Um, from the time when you were pregnant and you decided to do the whole transformation yeah. thing, how long did it take you? It took me about four months. Four, four months. months? Yes. So, I mean, I was on maternity leave, so uh -huh. I got back, that was four months, yes, around four months. So, uh, out, of, out of the world, you went on still doing exercising? Or, okay, or, no, 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 whatever. okay, so it was when I got home. Okay, when you got home? It was when I got home, I mean, I had CS, mm -hmm. I mean, so I've had three CS. Had to be home. Okay. Yeah, so, so when I was home, and usually when you have CS, I mean, if, if you have CS in Ghana, for most of the hospitals, they'll tell you don't tie your tummy. So, because you can't tie your tummy, it just really hard for the tummy to just go back, you mm -hmm. know. But of course, there are exercises to do, yeah. specific exercises to do, no matter what your condition is, you know. Okay. And of course, um, 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 I mean, I, I, I call it um, eating hygiene, you know. Okay. Eating hygiene that can also help you to achieve your, your goals too, yeah. Okay, that's, that's really great, that's really great. Okay, so you've started this thing since 2015 and um, it's grown in numbers. Yeah. You've done over 3,000 women yes. workouts, yes. people joining every yes. day. I mean, just yes. before the interview, I can testify the calls which have been coming in and I'm telling, so now, no, 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 we need to do the interview now. And so I'm like, no, I have to take this call. <laughs> of course, so yeah. business is going good for you. Yeah. But what have been some of the challenges in starting off your own business as an entrepreneur? Okay, so it's it's been a roller coaster. I mean, uh, I mean, the first one because it was a hobby. You know, I didn't transform and and said, oh, I'm I'm going to start a business. No, that wasn't it. You know, mm -hmm. so it was a hobby. So I was I didn't have any knowledge about entrepreneurship, how to run a business. I had no idea. All I knew was that I was happy to help other women who needed the transformation. Mm -hmm. you know so that i mean not having the because you see uh, there are some skills you need to manage a business yeah. you know i didn't have that you okay. know? so that was a struggle so it was more like a one-man business i mean for us now t and you it's it's a family it's not a business i mean of course we do apply business principles to be able to keep it going mm -hmm. you know but we are a family we are a community but the initial stage of just trying to understand how this is how things should work because mm -hmm. it was it was just me so mm -hmm. i was the coach the 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 the, the, the meal planner the exercise plan the everything you mm -hmm. know and i mean obviously it wasn't sustainable mm -hmm. you know because it started after the first child and now by the third pregnancy it was still me and the third pregnancy became very complicated so mm -hmm. i i couldn't do as much as i wanted to so mm -hmm. at the end the numbers were just going down, going down. you know because it's still just one person I you understand. know so so that was a big challenge and at a point i almost pulled the plaques but i mean god being so good um an amazing um client our clients are called queens you know mm -hmm. she joined and and i mean she's um, a business consultant mm -hmm. who really gave us some I mean amazing insight on how we can um, really um, organize ourselves to be able to scale up you know mm -hmm. so the, yes the initial challenge was lack of um, education understanding on how we can I mean um, scale up and everything and and human resource so when we mm -hmm. got to the point where I realized that okay I can do this by myself you okay. know, getting the right people to work with can be really difficult yeah. you know because you see you have a vision mm -hmm. you know and 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 this is how you want things to be done and mm -hmm. you need people to understand grab that vision 
Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it's not easy to be able to pour out that vision to people and get them to run with it. Exactly. You know, as if as, as, as they are. So that was also a challenge. But by the grace of God, I have the most incredible team in the world. Okay. I mean, I, how, how many number, what's the number of your team? 20. 20. You know, and, and no one misses me. Like, I haven't coached anyone in almost four years. No one misses me. You know, so, I mean, the team does incredible job and it's, it's just pretty awesome. Okay, that's, that's really fantastic. Yes. I know that you've grown your numbers since yes. then and now you have a yes. team of 20, yes. which you're managing. Yes. Well, that's really good. Congratulations. Thank you. To God be all the glory. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as a woman doing business, I mean, into the fitness um, management and witness yes. consultancy, do you, get the, do you ever get, because I interview a lot of women in business, yes. and the feedback which I get is, oh, they don't take you seriously when you're a woman. Uh, you approach people and because you're a woman, they... But, you know, or feedback which I get is women who are in, into business, they go like, okay, if you really want to succeed in business, you have to make a man front it. Okay. So if you're going for a meeting, you send a man. Okay. If you're going to the bank to get a loan, you send a man, but you know that there's a woman behind yeah. you. Do you get, yeah. do you get those, those kind of things when you're running? running okay, your so, so, I mean, in the initial stages, it was, I felt, because, uh, I mean, the fitness industry is male-nominated. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I felt... Okay, am I really like like the imposter syndrome? I thought, okay, are you sure you really want to do this? You know, <laughs> are, are you sure you shouldn't get a male trainer and all that? But over time, I realized. I mean, now I've reached the point where I say this is my calling on earth. Mm -hmm. You know, to ensure that people don't die prematurely from lifestyle-related diseases, mm -hmm. and this is where I can chip in. That you see, in the beginning when I started, it was just physical transformation. But I mm -hmm. realized the more I read. The more I researched, we are like, oh my goodness, this is bigger. Okay. It's not just about looking good. It's not just about feeling good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about ensuring that the body will last you a lifetime. So, I mean, for us, the evidence speaks. Okay. You know, so for, for TNU, the evidence is what speaks. You know, okay. so it's like, when the evidence is speaking, it's not about, is there a woman who is leading it or no? There's evidence. I mean, evidence of a 3,000 women plus transformed from over 10 different countries. So that's definitely enough evidence to let you know that, hey, women are just incredible we can do anything we <laughs> put our mind to it yeah yeah i mean what she does say just remind me of somebody i was interviewing Clarice and she said when i asked her the same question she said well the numbers speak yes oh, absolutely. So, so i mean yes. the number present the numbers yeah. to you and you feel like oh, that's that's yeah, your loss absolutely yeah okay let's get back to the new year tnu yeah. so what kind of exercises do you um, give your clients okay oh. all right so when it comes to exercises you know i always say we need to move Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not really about, oh, you need to do this particular, it's, it's moving. You know, for a lot of people, majority of people have become very sedentary, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I mean, I recently spoke to a client before she signed up, she said to us that, you know, I haven't exercised in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was shocked, but look, it can happen to anyone when you don't have the mindset of, this body is the vehicle taking me through this experience called life. Mm -hmm. You might think, oh, I only need to exercise when I want to transform. Yeah. You know, and that's the mindset a lot of people have that exercise when you want to lose weight. But this should not be the case. Whether you are slender already or whether you are plus size, exercising is a must, you know, because mm -hmm. hey, we all need that cardiovascular fitness. You know, mm -hmm. we all need to improve on, on, on our health. And one of the best ways is through moving. So it depends on the clients. Mm -hmm. It depends on their goals, okay, because mm -hmm. for some of our clients, they join because they need to lose weight, mm -hmm. you know, and for others, they join because they just need to maintain, you know, mm -hmm. so, and of course, there are others who join with medical conditions, so, mm -hmm. so we examine you and based on your specific need, we mm -hmm. can recommend that do this exercise, do that exercise, but generally, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, exercise can be as fun as you want to, it can be a dance, it can be walk, it can be jog, you know, it can be using the jumping rope, you know. So we try to make it as everyday, like things that you can do every day, like things that you don't need to drive to the gym, you okay. know, because that's the kind of mindset that we want people to understand. It doesn't matter whether you are at a place where you can have access to a gym or not, it doesn't matter, you can still move, you know. So we just try to make it a lifestyle just so that you have a body that will last you a lifetime. Okay, that's, that's really nice. That's really fun. So basically, so the new you program, uh, fitness program, is um, for women only, right? Yes. Why? The why? Man, why, 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 why? 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 Why?
<laughs> Why are the men of Ubuntu not, not invited? I can tell you for a fact that usually when I go to do a presentation, yesterday I, I had the opportunity to do a presentation in um, an amazing company. And not the presentation can't end without someone asking, Why is it for women only? <laughs> I, I, I always get it. I always get it. And, and this is where I say that it's not because we are discriminatory against the men. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just because we believe that when a woman has a renewed mind mm -hmm. and for us it's about changing your mindset because you see this whole healthy living a lot of people hear about it it's not about education you know mm -hmm. it's not about information everybody knows about it it's mm -hmm. about implementation mm -hmm. you know that can only happen when you have a renewed mind okay. you know so we we take uh women through that journey where they renew their mind i can tell you once your mindset is renewed trust mm -hmm. me you're going to influence your partner to live a healthy lifestyle no kidding Yes, women, we are that influential. You're going to influence wow. your children. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to influence your children to live a healthy lifestyle. And I'm saying this because of, I mean, evidence-based. You know, mm -hmm. we have countless of our clients, their husbands even call us and say, hey, it's like, buy one, get two free. You know, <laughs> my wife has joined and see me, I look amazing. <laughs> you know, some of the wives, they even say, Senna, can you believe that even my partner has lost more weight than me? You know? and, and, and that's the power of the woman. Because you see, in most homes, it's, it's the women who decide the amount of salt to put in food, the amount of the oil to put in food, that sort of groceries they buy for the home. Okay. So when you're living a healthy lifestyle, you, you, you don't want to buy junk for your children. Because mm -hmm. now you know it's not just about looking good. It's about making sure that this body is, is being nourished. Okay, so mm -hmm. we believe that let's tackle the woman. Mm -hmm. The whole nation become healthy because of one woman. So our target is one woman at a time. Yeah. Wow, I like that. One woman at a time. Yeah. One woman at a time. Yeah. That's good. So, how much? What? What can we? What can we do to to bring the men on board? I'm I'm lobbying. I'm lobbying <laughs> for. Lobbying I'm for lobbying. I'm lobbying for them. <laughs> You're lobbying for the men. You know, I, <laughs> I always say that. You know, men. Men they're just obsessed about money, power, and then. Oh. The Who three, the, the other three, like, the, the other three letter word I don't even want to mention. A lot of men can't be bothered, seriously. <laughs> a lot of men really can't be bothered, but the truth is that I believe that we all need to take good care of our health. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, eating healthy, exercising regularly. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you have plus size, which I've already said. You know, so as for the men, please just get your wife on board. And trust me, you buy one, you get two for free. <laughs> so, guys, I tried. I tried. <laughs> After the interview, I'll try and lobby at the back of the things, but Charlie, you saw her response. But hopefully in future, she'll probably get who guys, knows? who knows, she might change her never mind. Never say never. Yeah, she might change her mind, she might change her mind. Yeah. Alright. Okay, um, we'll bring to the next question. Uh, during the time of the pandemic, you got recognized by the um, yeah. US Embassy US and the yeah. White House. How did yeah. that happen? Okay, so that's why I said the evidence speaks. Okay. Okay, so I mean... We, we do, by the grace of God, we have clients from over 10 different countries, you know. Okay. So, yes, so these clients, they work in different, different locations. So, one of the clients happened to work there, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the transformation was just, it was just, I mean, no denying, you know. And, and this is a client who is um, like over 60 plus. But when you see her, you will not believe she's more than 30 years. Wow. Yes, I mean, you see, that, that's the thing about adopting healthy lifestyle. It just kind of... It, it, it makes you age backwards, mm -hmm. you know, so and, and I also got the opportunity to join um, this incredible entrepreneurship um, program for women. It's called Academy for Women Entrepreneurs, organized by the U.S. Embassy. Mm -hmm. And that's when I mentioned that, you know, if you don't have education on building a brand, it can be very hard. So yeah. I got this opportunity to get into the program. And when I got in and TNU began to, I mean, like, I mean, began to do really well you yeah. know the numbers were increasing the impact was 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 becoming i mean really huge and all that so the 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 evidence and then the stories the transformations i mean it it went to places i mean like when 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 we received the email i initially i said hold on did i just get this email is this is this a mistake you know, <laughs> it was real you know and i mean it wasn't just the website the u.s department of state website that they posted our workout mm -hmm. the the secretary of state actually tweeted you okay, know about okay. tnu on all her official um, 
handle mm -hmm. and said TLU is a go-to place for fitness in Ghana, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, we thank God for the recognition, but it's always about the evidence. Once you put in the work, the transformation is evident. It's, the rest is just a beautiful story. Okay, that's a really nice story to, to, yeah. to hear. That was really nice to hear today. So, but you were saying, they were talking about the email in God. So how did it yeah. feel? How did it, how, even to today when you think about it, how does it, how does it make you feel? So even to today, I mean, I, I still, I, it's still too good to be true, to be honest, you know, mm -hmm. that TLU is on the website, I mean, the U.S. Department of State website, it's, and you see, and it happened at a time where I was still working in the bank. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And I, <laughs> and, and I saw it one morning when I was driving to, I mean, the bank, and you see, transitioning, now I'm, I'm running in the past, I used to do it alongside working in the bank, mm -hmm. but now I had to resign from the bank two and a mm -hmm. half years ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, before I resigned, you know, I was going through a lot of, um, like so many thoughts were running through my head. Tracy, mm -hmm. are you sure you really want to resign? Mm -hmm. You know, I met this uh, pandemic and a lot of my friends would say, hey, this is the bad time to resign. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's COVID and it's unpredictable. We don't know what's going to happen. So don't resign. You know, so I was going through all this, thinking okay am I making the right choice mm -hmm. and I felt that I really wanted to do this full time like I just had the conviction that this is what you should be doing mm -hmm. you know because not a day I'm not exaggerating not a day would go by without a woman calling to say the doctor said I'm obese the doctor said I'm, I'm, I'm overweight the doctor said my cholesterol level is at the borderline I need to do something about it or he's gonna put me on medication the doctor said my sugar levels are too high the doctor said my knee problem you know so I was like why, why are we getting all these calls it looks like a lot of people need help you know, mm -hmm. and the common factor in all the conditions that keep coming, it's lifestyle. Yeah. You know, it's, it's they, were, they were being induced as a result of the way they were eating, as a result of uh, their inactivity and poor stress management. And we felt that we've been able to find, like, we found a solution, like the secret to how we can ensure that we don't become part of the statistics, you know, mm -hmm. of these lifestyle-related diseases. So I was like, okay, I really want to resign so that I can concentrate and do this full time and impact the lives of as many women as possible. But I wasn't too sure if it was the right time. So receiving that email, mm -hmm. it was like, this is a message, you know? <laughs> so if you can get recognized by this, then it means that, I mean, the sky is, is only the limit. So, I mean, hey, the sky is the limit, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I mean, so it, 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 made, it made me realize that we're on to something. something really huge, you okay. know, and, and, and the impact is, is something that can really transform many more lives. You know? mm -hmm. So yes, it, 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 it made me feel really, really good. And okay. it was just a confirmation that TU can really transform many more lives if we keep at it. Yeah. Yeah. But let me just say, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of women and I'll say that COVID was actually the right time to start a business because all the women you have spoke, spoken to who started businesses during the time of COVID yeah. are doing extremely well. Yes. They tell me that, oh yeah, there was COVID, but we still made a lot of sales yes. and you've been wondering, thinking, you know, the world was coming to an end or something, but yeah. you know, without yeah. the pandemic going around, but yeah. I think we couldn't choose a better time than during the time of COVID. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it didn't start during COVID. Yeah, but you know, I mean, but, but it but was pitch, during the COVID, pitch, yes, that, that, yes, you got the email. that was when I resigned to concentrate on it fully, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, the numbers skyrocketed as a result of that. Okay, yeah. that's that's really good. Congratulations on that again. Thank you. <laughs> <the> other glowy. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're about to bring the interview to a close and um, it's sad because we're having such a good time. Yes. Um, so women out there who, um, who want to start their own business. Okay, first of all, who wants to start a training program? Who wants okay. to lose weight, yes. but uh, are hesitant? They don't know what to do to start the regime on, you know, what exercises to start, what to eat, to lose weight yeah. and all. Um, so if you're also watching on YouTube, all over in Ghana, all over the world, yeah. what's your advice to them how to do the steps to take? To so them, okay, all right. So this, I mean, um, there's a research to prove that over 83% of women are unhappy with their bodies, mm -hmm. you know, so the average woman is on one form of a diet or the other, mm -hmm. you know, about three, three, three nights ago, I was having a conversation with my daughter, seven years old, she's in grade three, she said to me, mom, you know my friend Anna Sewa? I said, yes, I know her. This afternoon when the school served lunch, she didn't want to eat it because she said she's on a diet. 
and I said, seven <laughs> years old, you're on a diet, okay. <laughs> I mean, so it tells you that like the average man wants to do something about their weight or wants to, I don't know. So my advice is that a focus should not only be weight loss. Okay. You know, and, and, I, and I say this because a lot of women have become so obsessed about weight loss only. So they've become victims to all sorts of schemes mm -hmm. just to lose weight quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, you can lose weight and still be sick. Mm -hmm. You can have a perfect toned arms, flat tummy, and still have high sugar levels, and still have high cholesterol levels. So the focus should not be losing weight quickly, the focus should be losing it sustainably. Mm -hmm. You know, because you see, usually the weight gain is as a result of some lifestyle choices. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you don't modify your lifestyle and you lose the weight, maybe through um, a pill or some quick fix, I mean, some yo-yo diet or something, it's just a matter of time, the weight is going to come back because the lifestyle that got you into the excess weight, mm -hmm. the lifestyle hasn't been changed, you know. Mm -hmm. So we need to look for more sustainable ways. And of course, TNU is one of the ways that can help you to not only lose the weight, but keep it up forever. Okay, mm -hmm. so please, let's not focus on I want to be slim only. Let's focus on I want to be healthy, you know, because okay. at the end of the day, being healthier is better than looking also perfect. And it really doesn't matter your body size because you can be a plus size and still be healthier mm -hmm. than a very slender person, you know. So let's all focus on eating the right meals, you know, I mean, avoiding processed food as much as we can, you know, and of course, moving, you know, at the end of the day, we want to move just to ensure mm -hmm. that our bodies will last us a lifetime. Okay. Keep on moving. You heard it yes. from Senna Yebo. <laughs> Keep on moving. All right. As we bring the interview to a close, for viewers who are watching, who've loved the interview, who've loved the pictures, some of the videos I've been showing in between, um, could you give out your contact details for people who want to reach Senna Yebo, the new you, and join your program? Yes, please. So you can reach us directly on 020-8174178. Yes, or you can reach us on T and U Fitness on IG, Facebook, and Twitter. T and U, so T N Y O U Fitness. Okay. All right, guys, you got that. Do not forget to add the country code, which is plus two three yes, three to the phone that's number. Correct. Yeah. All right, Senna, thanks so much for coming on the show. We Thank wish you, you all so the much. best with the new year program. Thank you. As you grow. Yes, from 20 please. staff. Hopefully next next interview we'll do she'll probably have a hundred staff. Amen to that. You know. <laughs> and she'll be in every location, every country, amen every amen to that. Around the world. Yes, amen uh, to that. A big amen to that. Uh, and if we ever start tea you for men, yeah, who knows? You might be our first client. Yay. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, okay. Thank you, Senna. Yeah, All right. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Okay guys, thanks for watching uh, Just For Women Africa and um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend about Just For Women Africa and to the next show from Sina and I here at the lovely park here in Accra in my estate. Okay. Uh, bye. <laughs>